from a light base coat, paint all of the TIE Fighter with Fenrisi and Grey. You don't really need to paint the parts of the wings that are going to be black, but overspilling onto them is no problem as black will cover up in the later stages. Pick out the cockpits of the TIE Fighters with Administratum Grey. Shade the body of the TIE Fighters and the cockpits using Nuln Oil. Paint the black parts of the wings with a pattern black. On the outer side of the wings this is a bit easier as the struts are moulded whereas on the inside of the wings just paint the entire thing black for the moment and then we'll pick them out later. Um, I use quite thin paint so it might take two or three layers just to get a completely opaque finish. So if the null oil hasn't completely darkened the engine, just to fill this in with the bad and black as well. Now back to Fenrisi and Grey to pick out imaginary struts on the inside of the wings, basically just tracing the lines where they appear on the outside. This actually doesn't need to be too neat, it gives more of an impression than anything, and most of the detail is on the front and on the outside wings of the models, but it does really sell the effect, as if you leave them black it does end up being quite noticeable. Also pick out the outer edges with the edge of the brush on the wings to emphasize the sharp edges. Um, this step really just kind of neatens up the previous paint jobs where the black might have overspilled. And in fact, if there's any spill of black paint onto these areas, just to paint over them before proceeding. Pick out the raised detail on the cockpit with administratum grey. Um, this is actually quite easily done as the detail is quite raised on these models. Um, just with a small amount of paint and just with light brush strokes you can just pick these details out. Pick out the tips of the lasers using moot green, um, quite a thin paint so you might need more than one coat. Don't know necessarily if this is any way accurate to how they look in the films but it gives an added detail to these and it's actually quite quick so it's no harm to add it. the sharp edges on the six I suppose, points on the hexagonal wings with blue horror. Um, looking back on this you probably could go ahead and just go straight to a white paint on this. The blue horror is still slightly blue um, but probably doesn't stand out as much. All this is doing is emphasizing the edges. And this is the finished result. If you like this video feel free to check out the channel and if you're particularly a fan of Star Wars Armada and you want any particular squadrons painted uh, leave any suggestions in the comments below.